Tesla just released new images of the Tesla bot, and honestly, it looks more like the Terminator. The all-black design gives it a slightly intimidating vibe. This could be the high-end version of Optimus that Elon Musk has mentioned multiple times. It may be a version that can perform more tasks, move faster, be more agile, and feature a more impressive new design. But in the end, it will likely come with a higher price tag. And that's exactly what we expect from the next generation of Tesla's Optimus robot. We don't know which generation Elon Musk plans to stop at, but it's clear that Optimus Gen 3 is getting very close. If Musk is right, we'll see the new version by the end of this year. If there's a delay, we believe it'll be launched next year to kick off a new year full of ambitious plans for the company. Compared to the current Optimus Gen 2, the next version will blow you away in terms of both technology and performance. Discover it now. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Like in 2026, it's it's really the kind of thing where you, you could tell it to do kind of a, a wide range of tasks. As we all know, Tesla unveiled Optimus's new hands at the end of last year. They've been completely redesigned to improve water resistance and integrate more sensors. The new hands fully cover the actuators and some of the wiring unlike the ones on the Gen 2 version, and Elon Musk previously stated that only Gen 3 would feature these upgraded hands. The reveal of the new hands led many to believe that the next version of Optimus might be ready earlier this year. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. Milan Kovac and Julian Ibars, two engineers on the Optimus project, confirmed that the hands are still being finalized in the lab. It looks like they still need more time to perfect them so they can move more smoothly and operate with a higher level of automation. As for the new image Tesla shared on X, this is the first time we've seen Optimus in an all-black design, mysterious and a bit intimidating, honestly. It's hard not to draw comparisons to the Terminator robots, which are mostly black too. We're not wrong, right? But don't get it twisted. Ever since the Optimus project was announced, Elon Musk has made it clear that Tesla has no intention of following the storyline of I, Robot, Terminator, or any other sci-fi movie where humanoid robots turn against humanity. Instead, Musk is confident that the Tesla bot will be more like C-3PO or R2-D2 from Star Wars, designed to assist humans by taking on tough, repetitive, and boring tasks. You know, but a C-3PO plus R2-D2 plus, you know, plus plus. Um, it would be pretty awesome. Uh, I, think, I think everyone in the world is going to want one. The new black design of Optimus, or any color really, doesn't define its true nature. After all, Tesla has even shown off a golden Optimus before, right? Clearly Optimus will come in a variety of colors. In the latest image, you can actually see the reflection of the cyber cab in Optimus's head, hinting at a possible connection between the two products. If Cybercab is essentially a wheeled robot, then Optimus is its humanoid counterpart, walking on two legs. Previously, Musk openly admitted that the hardest part so far has been refining Optimus's design to make it easier to manufacture and better suited to a complex supply chain for mass production. He wrote on X, Optimus is already doing some tasks in the factory, and the scope of its ability is increasing rapidly. The toughest part by far is improving the design of Optimus for ease of manufacturing and tooling up a complex supply chain, so it can be made in significant numbers. So, in our view, Optimus Gen 3 is likely to be redesigned to strike a balance between aesthetics, cost, and mass production capability. That doesn't mean it'll look cheaper, quite the opposite it'll probably follow the same approach Tesla uses with its EVS. Take the refreshed Model Y, for example. It's better designed and more efficient without increasing production costs. When Elon Musk said the Tesla bot would eventually sell for around $20,000, most of us assumed that was the price for the entire Optimus robot. But that's not entirely the case. With Gen 1, Gen 2, and the upcoming Gen 3, Tesla doesn't plan to phase out any of them. Each version is designed for a different purpose and audience. Generation 1 is mainly used internally at Tesla factories. Gen 2 will be the one offered to the public, targeting large companies or individual buyers looking for more affordable option. Gen 3, on the other hand, will cater to higher-end customers. It won't just have a more polished design. It'll also outperform earlier versions in terms of features and battery life. Honestly, we wouldn't be surprised if it ends up costing around $80,000. Just the hands on Gen 3 alone have double the degrees of freedom compared to Gen 2, 
22 verses 11. We haven't even touched on how smart Optimus's brain might be, but we can confidently say that its hands alone already allow it to take on a wider range of tasks, and much more complex ones. For example, Gen 1 might only be able to buy groceries for you. Gen 2 could buy the groceries and cook 50 different meals. But Gen 3? It could buy the ingredients and cook whatever you want. That's the real difference. From our perspective, if Tesla bot Gen 3 can do everything a human can and run for at least 10 hours a day with minimal maintenance, then $80,000 actually sounds pretty reasonable. When you consider the average price of a typical humanoid robot today, you're usually looking at anywhere between $100,000 and over $300,000. That's why, for decades, no company has confidently claimed they could mass-produce humanoid robots at scale. But Tesla is different. Its products tend to drop in price over time. So we believe that as production scales up, the cost of all Optimus versions will become more accessible. Musk has already confirmed that Optimus will cost less over time. I'm hopefully ready for Optimus to be used outside of Tesla controlled environment, or maybe around the middle of next year, second half of next year sometime. Um, so, um, so that's, I think, yeah, that sounds about right. Probably second half of next year is, is, is when they'll be available. And then we'll, we, we will um, offer Optimus robots uh, first to uh, Tesla employees. So that, you know, because <laughs> um, it's, uh, probably have a few bugs, but, uh, but it's, it's going to be very cool. Um, you definitely, you'll want to invite your friends over and say, check this out. Of course, nothing is perfect right out of the gate, especially with a groundbreaking product like Optimus, which needs real-world user feedback to evolve. That's why Elon Musk hasn't hesitated to admit that Optimus will likely have a few issues when it first launches. But have you ever wondered, what exactly might those issues be? One potential risk is misinterpreting commands. You might ask Optimus to bring you dinner, and instead, it shows up with an empty plate. Just imagine how awkward that would be, right? Then there's the fact that Optimus is heavily reliant on internet connectivity. If there's any disruption or loss of connection, things could get messy. Without stable access to cloud data, the robot might not behave the way you expect, or even freeze up entirely. Another challenge, and this is something that might raise a few eyebrows, is stairs. While Optimus can go up and down stairs, it's still a demanding task. Each step requires pinpoint accuracy and perfect balance. Even a small misstep could lead to a fall. But let's not forget, every major tech product has had its rough patches early on. The first iPhone had battery and connectivity issues. Tesla's electric vehicles needed frequent software updates to improve performance. Glitches aren't failures, they're part of the evolution of technology. With Optimus, Tesla will likely rely on over-the-air updates and real-world usage data to make the bot smarter, quicker, and more reliable over time. But don't worry, all of these issues will improve over time. Continuous software updates and technological advancements will gradually make Optimus more refined. In fact, Elon Musk has already revealed one of Optimus's most impressive capabilities, the ability to recognize its own mistakes and correct them. The clearest example? When it accidentally dropped a battery cell from its tray, it picked it up and put it back, all on its own. That said, it's still crucial that customers receive a version of Optimus that's as error-free as possible. That's why giving it to Tesla's internal employees before releasing it to the public is a smart move. By deploying Tesla bots internally first, the company can gather real-world feedback much faster. It makes it easier to identify and fix bugs, optimize performance, and make meaningful improvements before Optimus reaches customers. This phase could very well be the final step in determining whether the bot is truly ready for the public. Musk seems genuinely excited about this product. He even said Optimus will be so super cool that people will want to invite friends over just to see it working at home. Well, there are actually uh, some Optimus robots being built in Fremont right now. Um, so we'll... I'm sure what that was, but... <laughs> um, so, we, but we expect to have an Optimus production line here as well. So there'll be Optimus production uh, starting in, in uh, the Bay Area, um, and then we'll have the uh, even bigger Optimus production line here in uh, Austin. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of robots. So, I mean, ultimately. I mean, I think, I think there'll be, 
we'll, we'll be making tens of millions of robots a year type of thing. It's like serious volume. Maybe 100 million robots a year. It's wild. Yeah. As Elon Musk has said, Tesla could eventually produce tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions, of Optimus robots per year. That would mean manufacturing at a truly insane pace. But let's be realistic. That's the long-term vision. A more believable milestone for now would be around 1 million Optimus units per year. At that scale, Tesla would be building one Optimus every 40 seconds. Sounds crazy, right? Almost too fast to believe. To make that happen, Tesla would need a highly automated assembly line where every component, batteries, actuators, sensors, and frames, is put together with incredible speed and precision. And honestly, at that point, we wouldn't be surprised if an Optimus could start assembling another Optimus. Along with the new images of the Tesla bot that were discussed, we also want to share that Tesla has confirmed the rollout of an important new feature, making its debut in the US. However, it doesn't appear to be available on the Cybertruck just yet. That said, Tesla still holds a clear advantage over many other automakers thanks to its over-the-air updates, which make their vehicles better over time. While plenty of car manufacturers have the capability to release new features this way, Tesla has proven to be one of the few that can truly make meaningful improvements to their vehicles after purchase. A new feature rolling out in the US is adaptive headlights, and it's currently being deployed. This feature will be available by Spadon for Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y vehicles that are equipped with the proper hardware. Adaptive headlights are different from standard automatic headlights. Instead of just turning on and off automatically, they can actually dim specific parts of the light beam, helping Tesla drivers maintain clear visibility while reducing glare for oncoming traffic. This marks the first time Tesla is bringing this feature to its vehicles in the U.S. Tesla owners in Europe have had access to it for a few months now, but it had been waiting on regulatory approval stateside. Originally, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, Lars Moravi, said the Cybertruck would include adaptive headlights. But in late February, he confirmed that wasn't the case, explaining that Tesla wasn't able to fit the necessary hardware into the Cybertruck's headlight module. This feature is expected to significantly improve visibility and overall safety on the road, while also reducing the discomfort and glare that headlights can sometimes cause. Adaptive headlights are part of Tesla's Spring 2025 software update. On another note, the company may be facing challenges related to the CyberCab and Tesla Semi programs, tied to the 145% tariff policy introduced by Trump. According to a recent report citing sources with direct knowledge, Tesla has apparently suspended orders for CyberCab and Semi components originally planned to come from China, due to the ongoing trade tensions between the two countries. This move came after tariffs on Chinese goods were raised from 34% to a staggering 145%. The report noted that Tesla was willing to absorb the additional cost when Trump imposed the original 34% tariff on Chinese goods, but couldn't justify doing so once the rate jumped beyond that. Faced with this situation, Tesla was forced to make a decision and ultimately chose to pause its shipping plans. Neither Tesla nor Elon Musk has commented on the report, so it's unclear whether the information has been officially confirmed. Tesla currently does not maintain a dedicated public relations department. If the report turns out to be accurate, the company could face delays in getting key components for the CyberCab, which is expected to debut in June, alongside the launch of its much-anticipated robo-taxi platform in Austin. As for the Semi, full-scale production is currently slated to begin in early 2026, with the first high-volume production units expected to roll off the line in Nevada later this year. Tesla has responded to the tariff pressures in other ways as well, such as halting deliveries of the Model S and Model X in China, after that country retaliated with its own 125% import tax on U.S. vehicles. It's no secret that Tesla has been feeling the impact of the ongoing tariff situation, and Musk has been open about it. What remains unclear, however, is whether the fallout will significantly affect future projects like the Semi and CyberCab. Recently, the Tesla Model 3 was named the most cost-efficient EBV to own. One of the biggest and most common reasons people switch to electric vehicles is to save money. With the ability to charge at home, lower maintenance costs, and available tax credits, 
EVs have become an increasingly attractive option for everyday drivers looking to cut down on expenses. That said, not all EVs are created equal when it comes to efficiency, and the Model 3 stands out as the best overall value. The standard Tesla Model 3 has been recognized as the most affordable EV to drive in 2025. With a usable battery capacity of 57.5 kilowatt hours and a real-world range of 260 miles, it costs just $3.60 to drive 100 miles. That translates to an impressive 2,781 miles per $100 of electricity, making it the most efficient choice for EV owners across the country. On another note, Tesla is now offering fresh discounts on in-stock Cybertruck units, giving customers a chance to grab the all-electric pickup at a reduced price. Some models even come with added perks to sweeten the deal. Currently, Tesla is offering up to $10,550 off in-stock Cybertrucks across the U.S., a notable jump from the previous $6,000 discount on these inventory vehicles. Non-Foundation Series Cybertrucks are getting up to $10,550 off of their original prices, while Foundation Series pickups are getting up to $10,000 off. These are great deals and should help clear out some inventory from last year's models. Additionally, Foundation Series Cybertrucks purchased will receive free lifetime supercharging, another great addition to make the deal even better than the $10,000 off. Last week, Tesla launched a new version of the Cybertruck featuring rear-wheel drive with a long-range option, priced at $69,999. This makes it the most affordable version, coming in $10,000 cheaper than the AWD model. However, this lower price point comes with some trade-offs. Specifically, Tesla has stripped down certain features, such as the air suspension system, truck bed cover, and some interior features. For example, the RWD version of the Cybertruck comes with fabric seats and lacks the rear touchscreen, two features that are standard on other versions. The Cybertruck is currently the best-selling electric pickup in the U.S., outperforming strong competitors like the Ford F-150 Lightning and Chevrolet Silverado EV. However, Tesla is still working to bring the price of the truck down further to make it more accessible to a wider range of consumers as its current price still falls short of the company's initial goals. That wraps up today's update. Let us know what you think about the Optimus robot. Do you think it's a product that could change Tesla's future?